Hey y'all, welcome to Sunshine Haze. This is Aja A. As you see tarot cards on your screen, you know that means it is time for a new moon reading. Um, this new moon is in the sign of Aries, so we're dealing with, you know, new beginnings, fresh starts, and also taking a look at ourselves. Uh, personal healing really is uh, really, really prominent for us during this time. Um, if you want to know more about what this new lunar cycle is really going to bring about, go on and check out my new moon video. I have that down below in the description box. And let's get to it, y'all. This video is for my fellow water, uh, my fellow water sign, uh, Pisces, um, Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, or Pisces Rising. So if you feel like what I'm saying in this video is not resonating with you, go on and check out your Moon or Rising sign. I do have a link in the description box again below uh, to a playlist with all of those videos in it. Okay. So let's get it popping, Pisces. Gonna go on and start shuffling for you and tell you a little bit about what this spread is going to be about today um we are doing a five card spread i'm going to look at the energy for you guys during this new moon in aries during the lunar cycle actually i'm going to be looking at anything that may be crossing you and because we are dealing with aries we're going to look at one card that has to deal with you know new opportunities or actions that we y'all should be taking um i'm saying we like i have any pisces in my chart actually that's the only water that i don't have in my chart um and we're also going to be looking at you know a card dealing with your personal healing healing yourself and as I do in all of my spreads I will have a little soul message for you as well and that could be a message for your higher self that could be a message for hmm, the ten of wands just popped out so might be feeling a little blocked during this time uh, Pisces but I'm gonna keep shuffling for you dang I saw I don't shuffle my cards the same way that um, a lot of tarot readers do so I don't really have I very seldom do I pull reverse cards. So when they come out in the reverse, it's like, uh, it's supposed to. And anytime you pull cards and they come out in the reverse. But as I'm shuffling, if I see a card in reverse, I'm like, mm -mm, oh no, shoddy. So sorry, I had to fix that really quickly. Um, oh, okay. All right, you know what? I'm going to stop looking at this. I, I typically shuffle with my eyes closed for that reason because I'd be looking at the deck like, ooh, what's that mean? <laughs> so, yes, we're going to be looking at what's in store for you guys during this um, Aries lunar season. Energy, what's crossing you, um, new opportunities, uh, self-healing, and a little soul message, higher self card. Um, just a general insight message that needs to be communicated to you. Okay, Pisces? I'm going to go on and finish shuffling. Some new moon energy. And some positive Pisces. Pisces sun, Pisces moon, and Pisces rising energy. And get some insight into what's going to be going on for this next month, this Aries lunar cycle. And that will be from a uh, mid April to mid May, y'all. Alrighty, let's go on and cut the deck for you. When I tell y'all, this has been the hardest set of videos to record for me. Like, this Mercury retrograde shit is stupid. I was very, like, excited because I thought I missed it. I thought, like, I got hit so hard at the beginning that I wouldn't have to deal with it. Is I missed the flight right when we went into Mercury retrograde. But, um, I dropped my damn phone a couple days ago. And the, filming these videos was just really hard. <laughs> I had to start and stop so many times like it was just kind of crazy but it's going and pull for you you guys are my last video a a and i will um talk you guys through all of these cards as i um go through them <sighs> all right pisces what's popping for you guys during this aries lunar cycle i've got if i can get it up the energy for you is the Ace of Wands, and this is uh, this is a uh, this is like an Aries card to me. I don't know if it's actually associated with Aries. It is a Fire card, but as you know, if you guys have been watching my videos, y'all know I love me some Ace cards. Um, the Ace of Wands is actually like my favorite, um, and it has to do with new beginnings, taking new action, um, really putting things into play. Um, we do we deal a lot with you know manifesting and intending when it comes to tarot and when it comes to the things that we need and we want in our lives, but when this Ace of Wands comes out, it just points to expansion, it, it, and it's also a very um, passionate card, and it, it points to inspiration as well. So the energy for you guys during this lunar cycle, Pisces, is going to be very uh, vibrant, very intense, 
Um, we just came out of your cycle that had to do with new creative endeavors and, you know, spiritual revelations. So I believe coming off of that Pisces after you've had all of those, like, got all those new ideas in, got had all those epiphanies, I think you guys are ready to, to start moving on the, the things that you've discovered. And so the Ace of Wands energy is coming in and it's just saying, you know, all of that stuff that you learned, you are about to start growing and building with it. It, it just points to expansion. It points to growth all around you. Um, so if there's anything that you've started or put into play recently, this Aries lunar cycle most likely is going to really um, kick it into gear, okay? The next card that I have coming up for you, very interesting coming up in this spread. It is the Eight of Cups. This, anytime I see this, I have like a love-hate relationship with this card. This was the first card I ever pulled for myself, and it actually has a lot to do with why I'm reading tarot now for people. Um, so I, I love, I like, I have like a special connection to this card. It's also a water card, but it's not my favorite card. It's actually what I call an aw shit card. So this coming up in the position of what could be crossing you, what could be challenging you during this um, Aries lunar cycle. What's outside the window, Chelsea? What you looking at? <laughs> My dog has just been chilling and she thinks I want to pet her now because I said her name. Um, sorry, y'all. So when the eight, eight of cups pops up, um, it's a very, very, very telltale sign to whatever you are involved in, whatever you're doing, you need to go on and just let it go. So Pisces, you are a water sign. Um, the cups is the water suit, which deals with love, relationships, things that we're emotionally invested in. So if there's anything that you were just tied to with your heartstrings, whether it be a project, whether it be a person romantically uh, or, you know, a familiar relationship or a friendship um, that you probably have been thinking like, you know, things are different. I don't know that this is still good for me. This card coming up is saying, hey, it's not. It really isn't. And it coming up in the, the point that's crossing you is telling me that, especially being a water sign, you you have a little bit of, of um, attachment issues. Like you're, you're very attached to it and it's going to be hard for you to let it go, whatever it is. But this is the thing that is holding you back from expanding. So this situation, unfortunately, Pisces, and it may not seem like it on the surface, but whatever that situation is, everything that you want to grow and build on, it's not going to be able to, to come into play until you do away with whatever this energy is. <laughs> okay, coming up in the next position is action that you need to take or, you know, new opportunities presented to you. And just going off of the thing that I just said, you know, being in a situation that you need to do away with, you've got the judgment card. So when this card comes up, um, it's more of a seeking the truth card, um, a forgiveness card, but the um, justice and the judgment card in the decks for me point more to, gosh, I need to eat. I'm sorry, y'all. I wanted to finish these videos yesterday, but the way my life was set up, it just wouldn't work. So I woke up like, ah, I'm going to finish before I do anything and I haven't eaten. It's been like two hours. So you guys in my last video, <laughs> I'm getting some food after I read for y'all. Um, anyway, the judgment and the justice card, whenever I see them, it just always points to karmic situations for me. So because the eight of cups is coming up and it's something that you're not supposed to be in or something that you're supposed to do away with the judgment card coming right after it, um, literally two possibilities that I see here. Um, this situation, especially if it's a relationship is a karmic relationship. And you've done all the work that needs to be done there. You've learned the lessons that needed to be learned. You've interacted with that person's soul as much as you needed to. And it's run its course. It's time to let it go. Or it's time to do something different. It's time to not invest yourself so much into it. Um, on the other hand, if this is the situation that we're talking about. Chelsea. Girl. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I guess Chelsea wants to say hi. You done? No. <laughs> She's such a diva. She doesn't really like noise. Um, sorry, guys. Um, so the judgment card coming up. If this is a situation that you've been in and you know you're supposed to be out of it, it's also very possible that you're beating yourself up for staying in it for so long. And it, it could be love. It could have to do with your family, like, you know, situations in your family that just can't really be fixed at this time or, you know, it's not time to put your energy into that. Or friendships. 
But if you know it's not good for you, if you're already aware of that, this is just pointing to, you know, hey, don't be so hard on yourself for keeping yourself in this situation, for keeping yourself invested in whatever this is. Forgive yourself, let it go, and understand that, you know, it's just because you, your water is so big on your heart that you just, you have that attachment in it. It's a little bit harder for us water signs to get over people and get over situations. Um, all right. The next card that I have coming up for you is the two of wands. I love that you have the ace and you have the two in here. So you've got new big opportunities coming in for you or you've got a lot of things to work on and the two of wands coming up in your spread although this is in the, the healing position two of wands coming up in your spreads tells me that you have a, a direction that you want to take i also think this is in your yearly forecast i have to go back and look you guys can go on and check that out if you want to um but the two of wands coming up in the position of your personal healing I believe could mean that you actually are very, very aware of what it is that you need to do, Pisces. Um, you're very intuitive sign, so I'm, that doesn't surprise me. You know exactly what needs to be healed. You know exactly how you need to go about it. And this two of wands coming up in this position is telling me that you're actually ready to be over shit like this. Like you don't want to be carrying around any baggage anymore. You don't want to be carrying around any heaviness, any weight. So you've already la 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 la. You've already decided in your head that you know you're gonna do away with this. You are going to figure out how to get from under this funk, how to get over to the other side of the mountain. Okay. Um, it's just you're dealing with the, the emotional attachment here is what it is. It's what's making it so tough for you. But that two of wands is saying, no, you've already decided this. You already know what you want to do. And you are very determined to get yourself into a content space to where you feel like you're at peace. Um, be very aware of the way that you're thinking, though. Um, especially towards yourself, as I was saying with that judgment card. Pisces, don't be too hard on yourself, um, on yourselves. Just, you know, we're human. Shit happens. We make mistakes. We all have stayed in relationships or done something that we knew we shouldn't have been doing. And, you know, in the long run, effed ourselves off from it. But you live and you learn. And you're watching this tarot video. So you have a little bit of an insight before you go on and do something stupid like remaining in this situation or continuing to put your energy into whatever that is. All right, Pisces. The last card that I have coming up for you is the Ace of Swords. And as I said, y'all know I love Ace cards. I love the Ace cards. That is in your soul message position. So what I'm getting from that is you have to keep a clear head, Pisces. Um, you guys are a water sign. So it's very easy for you to get consumed with your feelings. And then on top of that, you guys are the two fish with the, the tails tied together. So it is very, very easy for you guys to, you know, devote your energy in one place and then notice that you want to put your energy somewhere else or do do one thing and then notice that you want to do something else, but you're still trying to do the other thing and you're not really putting all the energy that you need there. So it's a little bit of a conflicting energy for you. Um, this Ace of Swords is saying, hey, you will gain clarity, but before you gain that clarity on whatever these this situation is, you definitely have to tap within yourself and pay very close to pay, pay that uh, I cannot talk y'all I am so sorry you're gonna have to tap within yourself and pay close attention to the way that you're thinking the way that you're viewing the world and also take a look at the things that could be blocking your vision um and you know love and family and friendships are things especially for Pisces that could really really cloud your vision I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually what is going on um, so just be very, very, very mindful. Um, be very uh, observe things during this time. Um, and again, with that being said, as I'm telling you to, you know, be mindful and, you know, be forewarned, the Ace of Swords is also just saying, hey, Pisces, the only thing that is really a challenge to you is this Eight of Cups, this emotional shit. So once you get through this, all of that clarity that you need to move forward and start building on whatever projects this Ace of Wands energy is going to help you out with, and once you you figure out that, you know, it's okay, we make mistakes and like, you know, it, it's time, it's time for things to change. And, you know, once you understand that, hey, I have to do this, this is what I need to do, this is what I'm going to do, you are going to get that clarity. That Ace of Swords is going to be an underlying energy for you as soon as you um, get out of this uh, Eight of Cups, okay? 
All right, Pisces, if you like that reading and you uh, want to get a little bit deeper into it or you want some more information and want to book your own personal reading, go on and book a reading through my Etsy store. You can send me an email. Also, I accept payments through Cash App. And um, you can also send me a, a question, a question on Instant Go. Um, go on and like the video if you liked it. Hit that little thumbs up button for me. Drop any questions or comments that you may have below. Um, as long as they're positive, if you post something negative on here, it's going to get deleted or you get to meet um, Mrs. Mercury and Leo. And that's not, when I'm not happy, that's not a fun person to, to interact with. But I do try to stray, try to refrain from that, you know, positive energy, you know, negative energy, welcome here, uh, spread love, all that good stuff. Um, if you know any Pisces people, you got Pisces friends that you think should watch this video, please go on and share it. I definitely appreciate you guys sharing all of my videos. I'm still very shocked at how it's getting around, but that is definitely how I'm growing my business, word of mouth, and y'all just putting me all over the internet. So I, I do <laughs> appreciate y'all. Um, anything else, y'all? As I said, check out that New Moon in Aries uh, video so you can get some information on what the general energy is and how to put that into play with your your forecast here okay and um subscribe yes yes subscribe 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 if you haven't already done so especially if you like these tarot forecasts i would really appreciate the subscription it doesn't take much but to just hit the button you know <laughs> and you don't have to turn on notifications for me just if you would please subscribe i would really appreciate it and uh i think that's it y'all i don't really have too many plugs to drop i did that in the beginning and in the end so you know just thank you for watching and i'll see y'all next time